Congruent Triangles Project. Task 1 using Desmos. Mark the congruent parts if given two triangles are congruent. To start, click here. So here in Task 1, Task 2, and Task 3, we're going to um, click here, which is going to send you to a website. It's going to open a new tab and a website that we can complete three tasks. We can complete them and we can just take a screenshot and put them in our projects if we want. So task four is creating an artwork. You will be creating a piece of artwork using congruent triangles and congruent triangles only. No other shapes are permitted in your project. If you want any other shapes, you must make them out of congruent triangles. Each group of congruent triangles that has the same size should have the same color. Be creative and colorful in your own design and we can use any app that we want to create our artwork. Here's an example. Classify the congruent triangles by coloring them with the same color. So for example, you can use any objects you want, any picture on the internet that can help you with it. And you can draw them or print them using congruent triangles. So as you can see here, this picture is just made of triangles. So here's triangle, here's triangle, here's a triangle. Everything in this picture is a triangle, as you can see. And you have to do the same with any other picture. There are so many other designs and the, um, the triangles that have the same size, we need to color them in the same color. For example, th this one and maybe this one has the same size. So we're just going to color them in the same color. For example, this one and this one have the same size. We're going to color them in the same color. Same with this one and this one. Here, for example, we have a heart that's made out of triangles. This triangle and this triangle have the same color because they have the same size. This triangle and maybe this triangle have the same color because they have the same size. And we have to do them with all the other pictures and we can use help from the internet or we can create our own pictures. We need to be creative and come up with something new. For example, here is a really good one. It's really creative. The color goes in as well. And we can just use any picture on the internet, just make them into triangles. Rubrics based on completion 10 points. Tasks are totally completed and correct, you get 10 points. Tasks are partially completed or partially wrong, 8 points. Tasks are partially completed and partially wrong, 6 points. And tasks attempted, 5 points. And based on integration of technology, you get 10 points. So students use two means of technology. The tools used help the students and was useful to support the project. 10 points. Students used one mean of technology. The tools were helpful, the students, and was useful to support the project. Eight points. Students used a mean of technology, but it was not the supportive to the project. Six points. And student use of technology was primitive. Five points. And based on submission on time, which is out of five points, students use time well. Work is turned in early or on time. Five points. Most work is done on time, four points. Some work is not done on time, three points. And student did not use time well, little or no work is done on time. You get two points. And based on neatness is out of five points. Project is neat enough out of all the parts, five points. Project is neat throughout the most parts, four points. Project is partially neat, three points, and project was rushed, messy, and not taken seriously, is two points. And the total, which is the teacher that's going to mark based on our project. So for example, if our if we completed all um, tasks and we did everything in completion, we're gonna get, for example, 10 points. And if everything is correct, it's 10 points. And for example, based on integration of technology, um, we use two means of technology. For example, there are multiple ways to solve this problem. If we use them correctly, um, for example, we're gonna get 10 points. Submission on time, um, for example, we used time well, and we turned our work in early or on time, 
five points. Based on neatness, project is neat enough out of all parts, and I'm pretty sure creativeness also counts on this one. So the teacher will just mark us out of all. Angle side angle. Angle side angle is a method for proving triangles congruent, in which two pairs of angles must be congruent as well as the pair of sides between those angles. First, we need to know the marks. This line on the top of AB is, so we know that it's a side. We know that AB is congruent, is congruent to DE. So we need to add a line on both between AB and DE. Now here we have this sign. That's an angle. So angle A is congruent. Angle A is congruent to angle D. Put an arc on angle A to angle D. And lastly, we have angle B, which is congruent to angle E.